Good day ladies and gentlemen. Now I will tell you about one of the most amazing cities, its history and some interesting facts. San Francisco, city and port, coextensive with San Francisco County, Northern California, U.S., located on a peninsula between the Pacific Ocean and San Francisco Bay. It is a cultural and financial center of the western United States and one of the country's most cosmopolitan cities. Area 46 square miles, 120 square kilometers. Population 820,000. San Francisco holds a secure place in the United States' romantic dream of itself, a cool, elegant, handsome, worldly seaport whose steep streets offer breathtaking views of one of the world's greatest bays. According to the dream, San Franciscans are sophisticates whose lives hold full measures of such civilized pleasures as music, art, and good food. Since World War II, however, San Francisco has had to face the stark realities of urban life, congestion, air and water pollution, violence and vandalism, and the general decay of the inner city. San Francisco's makeup has been changing as families, mainly white and middle class, have moved to its suburbs, leaving the city to a population that, viewed statistically, tends to be older and to have fewer married people. Now more than one of every two San Franciscans is non-white, in this case African American, East Asian, Filipino, Samoan, Vietnamese, Latin American, or Native American. Their dreams increasingly demand a realization that has little to do with the romantic dream of San Francisco. But both the dreams and the realities are important, for they are interwoven in the fabric of the city that might be called paradox by the Bay. Although San Franciscans complain of the congestion, homelessness, and high cost of living that plague the city and talk endlessly of the good old days, the majority still think of San Francisco the way poet George Sterling did, as the cool gray city of love, one of America's most attractive, colorful, and distinctive places to live and roughly square, San Francisco occupies the northern tip of a peninsula. To its south are the bedroom suburbs of San Mateo County, to the east and northeast is the bay, and to the west and northwest lies the Pacific Ocean. The most prominent of San Francisco's hills are Twin Peaks, Mount Davidson, and Mount Sutro, all of which exceed 900 feet, 270 meters, in elevation. The best known are Knob Hill, where the wealthy Knobs, Nabobs, built extravagant mansions in the 1870s, and Telegraph Hill, which once looked down on the Barbary Coast. San Francisco Bay is a drowned river valley, submerged during the melting of the last glacial ice sheet. Enthusiastic and profitable filling of the tide lands has reduced its area at mean high tide from about 700 square miles, 1,800 square kilometers, in 1880 to a mere 435 square miles, 1,125 square kilometers. More than half of the bay is still fillable, but in 1965 the state legislature created the Bay Conservation and Development Commission to control further landfill projects. At its widest extent the bay measures 13 miles, 21 kilometers, across. Its deepest point, 357 feet, 109 meters, is in the Golden Gate. A narrow channel between the peninsula and Marin County to the north that connects the bay to the Pacific. The maximum daily flow of water through the Golden Gate into the Pacific is seven times the flow of the Mississippi River at its mouth. Within the portion of San Francisco Bay lying inside the city limits are the natural islands of Alcatraz and Yerba Buena and man-made Treasure Island created for a World's Fair in 1939 and later turned into a naval base, 1941-93. Alcatraz, Spanish, Pelican was from 1934 to 1963 the most notorious maximum security, escape-proof prison in the United States. In 1969, after the decaying cell blocks had been given up by the Federal Bureau of Prisons, a multi-tribal group of Native Americans invaded the island and asserted their rights to abandon federal property. Winter in San Francisco is rainy and mild, spring sunny and temperate, summer foggy and cool, and autumn sunny and warm. The average minimum temperature is 51 degrees Fahrenheit, 11 degrees Celsius, and the average maximum is 63 degrees Fahrenheit, 17 degrees Celsius. 
the mean rainfall, almost all of which occurs between November and April, is about 21 inches, 533 millimeters. There is sunshine during two-thirds of the possible daylight hours. The most characteristic feature of the weather, however, is the summer fog, which lies low over the city until midday, creating consternation among shivering tourists. This fog is a phenomenon of temperature contrasts, created when warm, moist ocean air comes in contact with cold water welling up from the ocean bottom along the coast. The Central Business District, the Financial District, North Beach, and Chinatown occupy the site of the Gold Rush City, which subsequently was expanded by progressive fillings along the waterfront. The remnants of many ships that were deserted in 1849 now lie under office buildings several blocks inland. To the west, at the approach to the Golden Gate Bridge, lies the Presidio, a two-century-old military installation that became part of Golden Gate National Recreation Area in 1994. It is remarkable for its park-like lawns and wind-sculptured stands of trees. A great change, which has been described as the Manhattanization of San Francisco, became apparent after the late 1960s, and it has been both welcomed and resisted. In the financial district, in particular, one tall building after another has been constructed in a city in which, for generations, few structures were higher than 20 stories. Among the modern skyscrapers are 555 California Street, formerly known as the Bank of America Building, the Transamerica Pyramid, which rises to an elongated point, and the La Meridian San Francisco Hotel, formerly the Park Hyatt. The Hyatt Regency is part of the massive Embarcadero Center complex, designed by John Portman in the 1970s, which encompasses six city blocks and houses numerous shops, hotels, and restaurants. Another concern is one that San Francisco shares with few other U.S. cities, destruction by earthquake. Severe quakes have been felt in 1868, 1898, 1900, and 1989. But it was the 1906 earthquake that did the most damage and that has become identified with the city. A little after 5 a.m. on April 18th the entire city began to tremble and shake. There was a terrible noise, like the roar of 10,000 lions, and San Franciscans knew they were experiencing a nightmarish earthquake. Cable cars jerked to a stop and this $7 million city hall crumbled like a movie set. The glass roof over the Palace Hotel court splintered and rained down shards. That quake was followed by a massive fire that destroyed the center of town and burned for four days, until the smoldering ashes were wetted down by rain. Starting in the business section near Montgomery Street and the south of Market District, the inferno swept toward Russian Hill, Chinatown, North Beach, and Telegraph Hill, where Italians poured wine on the flames to save their houses. Gone were four square miles. 10 square kilometers, making up 512 blocks in the center of town, along with 28,000 buildings. The pattern of immigration into San Francisco during the latter half of the 19th century was significantly different from that of anywhere else in the United States. The waves of newcomers included not only native-born Americans moving west but also Europeans arriving directly by ship who had not previously lived for a time along the eastern seaboard. The demography of the Gold Rush City was summed up concisely by a real estate firm that advertised it could transact business in the English, French, German, Spanish and Italian languages. San Francisco remains one of the most Mediterranean of American cities, New Orleans is another, and Italians are still the dominant European minority, followed by Germans, Irish, and British. Jewish immigrants from Europe arrived in the city even before the gold seekers of 1849, and much credit for San Francisco's culture must be given to them. They founded libraries, symphonies, and theaters and gave the city its first aura of sophistication. Before World War II about 20,000 African Americans lived in the entire Bay Area, about 4,000 of them in San Francisco. The tremendous increase in the black population during the next 30 years was set in motion by the war, which brought at least a half million war workers to the Bay Area's shipyards and other industries. Among them were tens of thousands from the South, who settled mainly in San Francisco, Oakland, and Richmond. 
In San Francisco they moved into the old carpenter Gothic houses in the blocks around Fillmore Street, vacated when the Japanese who had lived there were driven into wartime internment camps. By the 1980s, the character of the district shifted again, as the renovation of these houses and the high cost of property caused rents to skyrocket. Poorer African American residents were forced out of their neighborhoods and into slum housing in the city's already crowded southeastern sector. The Gold Rush, 1848-49, established San Francisco as the premier city of the West, known from the Oregon border to the Pueblo of Los Angeles simply as the city. It is still a great port, the financial and administrative capital of the West, and a substantial center for commerce and manufacturing. San Francisco is well known for its connection to the technology industry. Some San Franciscans commute to nearby Silicon Valley, a region just south of the bay that is the heart of the nation's technology industry, to work. But the city itself is home to a number of smaller technology companies and startups. Another large portion of the city's employed work in the area of finance. Other leading areas of employment include business services, personnel supply, building maintenance, security, computers and data processing, and advertising, retail trade, the tourist and convention industry, and professional services. Many companies, such as Levi Strauss and Amp. Co., producer of one of San Francisco's most famous products, Blue Jeans, have located their national headquarters in the Bay Area. From its beginnings as a port of call in the hide and tallow trade and, later, as the home port of the Pacific whale fishery, San Francisco has been acutely conscious of the importance of shipping. In the 19th century ships stopped there from their trip around Cape Horn or the Isthmus of Panama, and Steamer Day was a civic institution. After 1914 cargo and passenger vessels arrived from the east by way of the Panama Canal. In 1867 the Pacific Mail Steamship Company opened the first Trans-Pacific service, sailing from San Francisco to Yokohama, Japan, and Hong Kong. Manufacturing is the main source of income in the Bay Area. In San Francisco, in which manufacturing is a lesser source of income, the principal industries are apparel and other textile products, food processing, and shipbuilding while the aerospace and electronics industries are strong in the cities of the peninsula. Tourism is a major source of income. The bridges, Koi Tower, the museums, the restaurants, Chinatown, North Beach, the Victorian mansions, Crooked Lombard Street, and the dazzling Fairmont Hotel are major attractions. Fisherman's Wharf, however, is the most popular. Families browse the area, watching fishermen prepare the crab catch and mend their nets amid dozens of souvenir shops, street entertainers, restaurants, and bakeries selling one of the city's specialties, sourdough bread. Getting to Fisherman's Wharf on the Powell Hyde Street cable car is a popular route. A financial center since the first pinch of gold dust was exchanged for cash. San Francisco is the seat of the Pacific Stock Exchange as well as the headquarters of many banks and other financial services companies, among them Wells Fargo. Though there are no native, independent banks headquartered in San Francisco, the city still ranks among the nation's largest investment banking centers. Unlike any other California city, San Francisco, incorporated 1850, has a consolidated city-county government. The 1932 Freeholders Charter, under which the city-county still operates, provides the mayor with strong executive powers but delegates substantial authority to a chief administrative officer, appointed by the mayor, and a controller. The legislative authority is lodged with an elected board of supervisors. The other key officials, who are both appointed, are the superintendent of schools and the manager of utilities. That's all for today. Subscribe to the Magic Cities channel and stay with us, good luck.